Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Francis Ngannou and Stipe Miocic. While the bonuses and the accolades have continued to pile up for one of the best heavyweights in the world, Stipe Miocic, and rightfully so, of course, who can forget when he wrested the belt away from Fabricio Verdum in Brazil at UFC 198? And then what he did after the fact against Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos put him on a pedestal as truly one of the best heavyweights of all time. And it should, because when you have those types of names on your resume, you will be considered one of the greatest fighters the division has ever seen. Stipe has the ability to win fights in a number of ways. Unbelievable boxer, has great footwork, but also was a division one level wrestler right. at Cleveland State University. Fights fires pretty well too. He's too. really good at that. Yes, <laughs> I went to the firehouse and it's intense as it comes. All right, so here is the heavyweight power threat, Francis Ngannou. Couple of outliers on his resume, the weird fight against Derek Lewis, but he came back in a big way. Back-to-back -back knockouts of Curtis Blades and Cain Velazquez that put him right back into heavyweight title contention. If you're a fan of the sport and you see a young fighter like Francis Ngannou, that's exactly the type of response you want from him when he had a rough go. Go back to the drawing board. Come back remotivated. Focus on the task at hand. Start knocking people out. Get back. Use what got you to the show. In the beginning, in the knockout of Blades, in the knockout of Kane, showed that Francis Ngannou is once again ready to move himself back into title contention. And his knockout of Alistair Overeem in 2017, the knockout of the year, Spaceship. according to most. Spaceship. Overeem's still in orbit. Yes, he is. He has to be. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Mia Chich is four years his senior. Ngannou weighed in at 250 pounds. He will have a three-inch reach advantage and now to get us started here is bruce buffer ladies and gentlemen this fight is three rounds in the ufc heavyweight division introducing first fighting out of the blue corner a wrestler holding a professional record of 19 wins three losses he stands six feet four inches tall weighing in at 240 pounds fighting out of independence ohio steve Miochin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis the Predator and God. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go, round one. Stipe versus Ngannou, DC. I know you're among the more interested observers of this fight here tonight. Cardio is king, and that's been a big word out of the mouth of Francis Ngannou this week. He really did focus on the cardio. He understands that in the first fight, he completely gassed. He cannot allow that to happen again. And by wrestling, 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 he feels he's prepared himself for the approach of Steve Emil. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Miocic. All right, he engages in the single collar top. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, nice. Nice. Huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be in it. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd goes in the right. You right. hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish the fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? So 
Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis and Gunn. Oh, and he lands the front kick there. Not Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort, but a nice strike nonetheless. There are a lot of ways to land that strike. As you saw with Anderson, you took it up to the chin because normally it goes to the body. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, he gets back up. The question is for how long? Job to finish the takedown there. Oh, right to the mouth. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. One minute to go here in the opening round. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, nice! Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there. Just as the horn sounded, safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, five minutes down. Here we go at the start of round two. Francis Ngannou versus Stipe Miocic. Jesus right. Nice stick with the right hand. Look how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he needs to try to chase down that pick. He's in trouble. Whoa! He's hurt bad. Hey. Good right here. Oh, he might be out. So fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing the time, just looking to recover. showing no signs of slowing down. 41 total strikes have landed for Stipe. Just below 50% now, landing with 47% accuracy against Francis Ngannou. Beautiful punch. Oh, how about the... Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Single collar tie now. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of the second round. Diving punch lands. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Biacic ground and pound from half goal. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Francis Ngannou. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, 
Oh, nice move. Oh. Back to the feet. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. What a punch. Nice job by Miacic continuing to not just stay busy on the feet, but to land at a pretty good clip as well. Landing at a great clip. Landing a lot of his strikes. And really mixing it up, man. Mixing up the target. Not getting predictable in his approach to try to retain his heavyweight championship. So 55 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Ghana. Accuracy rate is... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Back to the feet! Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, Under three minutes now to go in round three. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty for this position. Miacic's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that. But a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Big calls for punch me. Oh! No, and just like that, the fight is over. Door. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, man. Crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of the third round. You're playing the winner by knockout, Stipe Miocic. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.